Rat's Night of Terror takes place in an apocalyptic world, specifically 225 AB, or after the bomb. Yeah, some jerk scientist in the year 2015, uh-oh, blew up the world and wiped out most of humanity. So for 200 years or so, there's been some people living underground, and the rebels who don't want to live underground stayed above. Man, I guess the 80s hair comes back full circle then. I don't want to be around to see it. It starts off as an interesting plot. We follow a Mad Max-like group of road warriors who stay at a strange abandoned place that holds ton of food and plant life, which supposedly doesn't exist anymore. It would have been intriguing to follow up on the underground dwellers or to see more mysteries of the house they're in. Like just what's the deal with that big ass computer? Stupid machine needs a kick in the balls. Other than kicking it in the balls. But the whole movie is set in this one house, which is fine but it's so unappealing to look at. And what's more annoying than being isolated in one set? Being isolated with annoying characters. There's this one guy in this blue coat who for a while I thought was Mark Wahlberg. He's always backstabbing or insulting the leader or even tries to get the group killed for selfish reasons. He betrays him like seven or eight times. I'm not joking. Why don't they get rid of him? They're so stupid. Gosh, the humans are more animalistic than the rats are! Oh, would you look at that? How primal can you get? Go outside or something! <laughs> he throws a shoe at them. By the way, you see these two completely naked, and it is one of the most horrifying things in the whole movie. Because the rats don't really provide any scares, they are far from menacing. They're docile! but somehow they're able to break down a door. They're so strong and they move so crisp. It's like they're not even on a conveyor belt at all. Oh man. When they do attack, it's just someone dumping a bucket full of rats on people. This is as aggressive as they get. PETA would have flipped their lids if this was filmed in America. I'm willing to bet several rats were killed. Look at that, they even burned them alive. This is one movie where you cheer for the rats, because the people are so stupid they'll run at the rats and get themselves killed. They could have just run the other way. Or the humans just randomly kill each other. Why did he burn him? All he had was a few rats on him. It would have been very easy to save him. The only thing left to say is the ending. With two minutes left in the movie, these two are rescued by the underground dwellers. But lo and behold, it's rap, people. I don't get it. I don't get it. The film starts out entertaining enough, but it shoots itself in the foot by dragging everything out. Way too much dialogue, characters you don't give a rat's ass about, literal abuse of rats, and more loopholes than Swiss cheese. If this is how the future will be, I don't want to be around to see it. <laughs>